Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. This time we'll be taking a look at the search results page and some of the features available to make searching, sorting and generally using Register Compass much easier. So let's go straight to the search results page and take a look at a sample set of search results. Here we can see a large number of domains matching the filter options that we chose on the domain search page earlier. We'll usually want to take a closer look at several of these domain names. Some of them will want to backorder and some will want to discard. Register Compass makes this easy by providing a mark as red feature. Just click on the red drawing pin on the right to mark any domain name as red. When this has happened it's donated by a grey background on the results page. To unmark domain names we just click on the pin again. At the top of the column there are additional drawing pins which are used to mark all the domain names as red or unread. What's more, once you've marked a domain name it remains marked the next time you log in. If we want, we can also ask Register Compass to display or not to display domain names that have been marked as red. Click on the drawing pin with the minus sign and all the domains that you have already marked as red will not be displayed on the result search results page. If we want to display them again all we need to do is click on the drawing pin with the plus sign next to it and this happens. We can also go to our account settings page and ask Register Compass to use this as a general rule for all our searches in future. This really is a simple but great tool that I personally use all the time when searching for domain names. Another fantastic and important tool when sifting through your results page is the Domain Context menu. We just need to right click to access this menu. The pop-up context menu lists a large number of other links that you can use to analyze a domain name more closely. For instance, we might want to add a domain name to our monitored domains area so that we can get a status report about it in the dashboard area. We can also use the context menu to add a note about the domain. You can write anything you want here. A paperclip icon appears next to the domain name in the status column when you've added and saved a note. Alternatively, we might want to ask Register Compass to update the values of a particular domain name. To do this, just click on Update Domain Values and Register Compass goes out and checks all the values for this domain name again from PageRank right through to DMOS, etc. You can see that the data is being updated by the small update icon in the status column. It usually takes no more than two minutes for Register Compass to update a domain name's values. Let's take a bit longer to look at a couple of other items in the context menu. In the next section we can see other links. We call these My Links and they are denoted by the Register Compass symbol. The links that you see in this section are created by you. Yep, you can actually customize this context menu. To understand how to use the My Links feature please check out the tutorial video that's dedicated to this subject alone link to Namejet where we can backorder a domain name. This link will vary depending on which type of domain names you're, you're actually searching for. Namejet for expiring domains and Monica for expired domains for example. For auction domains you will find a link to the registrar, res to the registrar responsible for the domain auction. Click on this link and you'll be taken straight to the auction. Let's take a quick look at this in action by clicking on the Namejet link. As you can see we've been taken directly to the corresponding backorder page at Namejet where we can place our bid for the domain name 011602. The last two links in the list take us to domain tools for who is information or to the screenshot history section. Okay. Let's just refresh our page to see if Register Compass has finished updating the information on the domain name that we requested a few moments ago. As you can see, the update symbol has been replaced by a green tick, which means the data is now completely up to date. In the last check column, we can also see that the data for this domain name was last updated 8 minutes ago. 
Above the main table next to the drawing pins we can also see a few other tools such as the ability to save this particular search. More information on this feature can be found in one of our other tutorial videos called Saved Searches. Clicking on this filter symbol is a quick way to remind ourselves which filter settings we use for this particular set of results. If we click on the paperclip, Register Compass shows us all the domain names where we've added a note. Thank you for watching. Register Compass has a number of really great features designed to save you time and make your domain searching easy. So please make sure you check out our other tutorial videos.